Welcome in for another season. 2022 is here. My name is Joe DeSalvo with the CFF site. And uh, I know you guys are thinking uh, we've been in hibernation. Uh, a lot going on. Here we are. In the CFF site's now in its 12th year. Uh, never did I think we'd get this far 12 years ago. I never thought we'd be sitting 12 years down the road uh, doing, uh, still doing shows. But here we are in college fantasy football is as strong as it's ever been. The preseason fantasy draft guide now going into its ninth year and all the good stuff and, and tools and information that you guys need for your college fantasy football drafts, as usual, from player rankings to just schedule analysis. We've added conference previews this year as well. Incoming freshman spotlight, draft day cheat sheets, ADP data, you name it, we've got it. If you need something for your college fantasy football drafts and prepare for the upcoming season, the CFF site's got it for you. And we just launched player preseason player projections this week. So that's up on the site. So be sure to check out all the content details and get yourself a membership for the 2022 se for the 2022 season. You can't start that college fantasy football homework and research fast enough. And as always, we will be updating all of the content throughout the season, throughout the summer, and leading up to the season. So you'll be able to get all the updates as we go. And that's right. I said we because I'm bringing in my partner, Mike. Mike, you there? We're here. We're there here. You go, buddy. So look, man, it, it, it's nice for everyone to see our spaces. I know you might have done a show or two here and there, but we've never done anything uh, together here so far in the preseason. And quite honestly, man, I think I've talked to you more than I've talked to my family over the last two months. So while we're being uh, doing this show together, uh, you and I have certainly uh, had enough conversations over the last couple of months, man. I just I just teased everything for the, the preseason content that content that's now live up on the site, man. Did did I miss anything? Anything you want to add to to what I what I threw out there earlier? No, I hate that you say we came out of hibernation because now that I see myself in Zoom now, I'm looking a little chunky, put on the put on the weight during during our hibernation period. But no, um, you know, sites live now, excited to to jump back in here. Um, it was good to get the guide finished. I think it, just adding the conference previews, um, all the ADP data that we have in there. And what I love about the guide, and you mentioned this too, is that we're constantly updating this. It's not a finished product by any means. I will continue to write. You will continue to write throughout the uh, summer here. So, you know, it's what you said, 70 some pages. Now that's going to grow uh, during the summer. Um, so definitely not a finished product. And then we got the projections live this week, which is crucial to what um, I do, you do, and, and many of our subscribers do because you know, those that play DFS, those that do props like me, which I got, you, as you know, I got heavy into props last year. They are vital to success in that, both season long and weekly. So, um, you know, we got everything that our subscribers need and, and pumped to jump back into it. Yeah, so there's a lot of places that we can take this on what we're going to do. So we're going to tease that out. But let's start with the guide, right? Because we've always included the player rankings in there. We've always included information like offensive linemen returning. That's always an important uh, statistic for some people. Uh, you know, we got some incoming freshman spotlights on some of the freshmen that we really think could have a, an impact here in, in year one. Uh, defense, special team streaming, you know, not everyone really goes after that defense. The top defense is in the beginning. We've got a nice four week guide that's put together for you guys that, that uh, for you guys that like to stream defenses. Mike, we're going to be doing best ball drafts throughout the summer as we did last year, probably four or five. All of those results will be in there. We've got the ADP data in there this year, which is a newer addition. Uh, thanks to Zach. Uh, you know, he helps out a lot over here. He actually compiled a lot of the ADP data for us uh, that we used in the guide as well. Uh, and like you mentioned, there's just a lot of stuff that we're going to be working on. You know, we've got projections live now and you're going to see some of our members, I can see the emails coming already, right? Where you've got this guy ranked here, but he's projected there or he's projected here and he's ranked down there. So I'm working on a piece to kind of put a little color around the differences between the rankings and the projections and where the value's at in the rankings and where the value might be uh, in the projections, right? You're going to continuously work on uh, some depth chart stuff as well. There's a lot of additions that we are going to put into the guide, but 
you know, we can speak to the challenges of it now, you know, uh, you know, now that we're in the ninth year of doing the guide, I can tell you, Mike, it's a heck of a lot difficult now, more difficult now to get everything ready for that last week, that Memorial Day weekend in May than it was three or four years ago. You and I have, I, 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 how many times did we pick up the phone or just hopped on a call with transfer news that we thought we had everything done and then a guy transfers and then another transfer? Speak to that a little bit, the difficulty of just trying to put piece this thing together in time and all the moving parts that goes on around it, man. It's about, what would you say, a month maybe where we're just talking to each other practically every night trying to compile the projections for every single team in college football, 131 of them. Um, and it's just, it, it, you know, some, some teams will just slot right in, right? You get an Iowa, we take, you know, five minutes tops on an Iowa because, you know, you're going to get a thousand yard rusher in the backfield. You know, the, the, the QB one's not going to matter whatsoever. And, and you're going to get, you know, three wide receivers that catch 20 passes a piece. Um, but then you get to some other teams, especially with coaching changes this year and all the transfer portal additions. I mean, we have one just, the, just before we went live with Ty Edwards in, in UTSA. That's a discussion that probably goes on for 15 minutes. So, you know, just being having to compile the projections, tweak the projections, update the rankings in the guide. It is not an easy process. Um, so, you know, and, 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 no, and, and, you know, and it's time consuming too, because you and I talk about this. The one thing that we try to give all of our subscribers and, and the, and the members that come in and anybody that goes, uh, that comes in and wants a lot of the preseason content is we try to make it a little diverse to give you guys a multiple options, right? We've got the micro, uh, we've got the Excel spreadsheet that is downloadable. You've got some boxes in there where you can tailor some of the scoring to your league specs in regards to maybe what your TDs and yardage are worth and kind of reconfigure some of those numbers and use the projections to come up with a new projection uh, tailored towards your league. And then we also have the projections that are tabled on the site, which this year we added a full point PPR tab in there as well. So you can go into the projections table. Uh, we've got them by position. You can go ahead and, and filter them by conference. You can filter them by teams. Um, and this year we even have the half point PPR tab and the full point PPR tab. Mike, I, I'm a little worried that we kind of open up Pandora's box and we're going to get requests for all kinds of tabs coming in. Uh, but we're getting there. We're doing a little bit at a time. But like you said, man, just when we thought we just when we think we have it figured out, it's like something else happens and then we're moving and we're changing this, changing that. And, and it does take a little bit of a process. We'd like to be able to get this information out as soon as possible, as early as May, but, but I'm, I'm sure you could, you would agree, man, it's just virtually impossible to get this information out too soon. And you and I take a lot of, a lot of pride in getting as much as we can, right? Not necessarily getting it out first. We want to be able to give you guys as much as you possibly can that we feel through all the research and homework that we've done that we we're passing on all of the relevant information and all the information that you guys need um, and that's the advantage, you know, Mike, I, I, I remember you and I talking a lot. Most of our, most of the members that come into the site come in post 4th of July, right? There really is some added value in coming in a little earlier, uh, such as between now and July 4th, because that fantasy draft guide and the projections they're they're you know it's a living document right it's constantly evolving we're making changes throughout the spring throughout the summer so it's nice to kind of get an idea of where some guys are trending as you see them move around as opposed to just coming in maybe two weeks before the season and just kind of getting that static version right it allows you to just kind of stay on top of some of the player news throughout the summer and you just referenced one change that we'll have to address coming up so you know that 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 document is an evolving document and that's really the advantage of everyone coming in early right yeah absolutely and I think you hit on a point I think that's why you know we're successful in college fantasy is that we have a grasp of you know we can see rankings but we have a grasp on on position battles and 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 where everybody stacks up maybe on a depth chart and i think that's a benefit of getting in early is that you really i mean you can chat with us live on the discord and we'll we'll, we'll give you our opinions and such but you really i think you can see how rankings kind of shift and evolve 
throughout the summer where you are most prepared for, for your drafts. And that's a nice transition. You mentioned the Discord. I didn't even bring that up again, right? So we do have the 2022 Discord. And for you guys that came in last year, I, I know there were a lot of you guys that, that registered, whether or not you found value in it. Uh, that's maybe still to be determined, but I can tell you there are a number of guys that come in there. It's a very active community in there. And uh, Mike can tell you, you know, on Saturday mornings, that Discord is buzzing, right? Because you get all of this late breaking news with injuries, player movement, and sometimes you just can't find that information fast enough. On Twitter, when you're out there looking by yourself, when you've got a community of guys that are, you know, send, finding information all throughout the country, uh, it really does make for uh, some quick communication to be able to make some last minute decisions. Mike, you've been involved now with uh, the Discord uh, community for a couple of years now. So speak to it, the advantages of that a little bit. I mean, it's like you said, literally a community that is others participating and scouring the internet to find this sort of information. You know, we have only so many hours in a day. We'd like to say we could find all the information, but you know, things slip through the cracks. We've got guys uh, on our discord helping us out, even posting information that they find if they're scouring a message board or, or reading some cryptic uh, Twitter comments or something like that. You got to take that all the information in, right? And, and sometimes that cryptic Twitter information comes to be uh, truthful. Um, so again, if you want to be at the place that you can be up to date on this information, I feel like our Discord is that place. And it, it's, it's imperative that you stay up to date, obviously, for your college fantasy football leagues, for your DFS lineups, and what have you. Yeah, I think, I think just following along in the Discord, even if you don't post anything, just following along and getting some of the alerts, whether it's the transport, transfer port channel, portal channel. Uh, we've got team channels, team pages uh, as well. So uh, injury channels as well. And there's, like I said, there's DMs where, where guys can get in touch with you and I. And if there's any type of, you know, roster evaluations or, or um, you know, lineup questions, they can, you guys, they can reach out to us one-on-one -on -one and, and we'll be able to kind of give them our two cents on that as well. So real valuable asset as well. Uh, let's talk a little bit about where we're going though, Mike. Uh, you know, we teased a little bit about what we're going to be adding stuff into the guide when it comes to the season. You know, we're still going to have the weekly projections. You're going to do all of your monstrous DFS material write-ups, which uh, man, you really crunch it there at the end of the week. We're going to do some shows. You and I have even tossed around the idea of bringing props into this year's content a lot more than what we did in the past, for sure, even if we did do it in the past, because that seems to be a real uh, hot spot in regards to the online gaming community right now. Uh, so we may even up, who knows, we may even do more shows as the, as the season progresses. And, you know, the one thing I shared with you and, and we saw with some of the emails that were coming in with feedback is that, uh, you know, there were, there were quite a few that came back that just spoke to the accuracy the timing, uh, the schedule of everything that we release during the week, which is really important, Mike. I mean, I know you and I, we, we've been doing college fantasy football for more than a dozen years, uh, way before that. You know, we all, you know, back in the days when we used to do our own preseason fantasy rankings and, you know, there's a, there's a ton of guys that do their own preseason fantasy rankings. You and you, you know, you and I, uh, just some, some guys, uh, you know, in the, in the industry have a bunch of rankings as well. What really sets the, DF, the the CFF site apart is just all of the in-season stuff that we can do in regards to the player rankings, the player projections, the DFS stuff, the shows. It's really a task to get all of that stuff done in time on schedule and get it to where you know everybody else has enough time to really digest it and really have some value in it before setting their lineups and before the games really start. So I just wanted to touch on that real quick. I know I shared some emails with you that came in with the site and there was a lot that mentioned that, that you know, when it comes to projections and all of the weekly content, uh, we're pretty spot on. We're getting everything that we have to on time. And so uh, that's, that's real big uh, plus in our favor for everyone that's looking you know, to get their weekly college fantasy football content. And I know this year as well, you and I have been talking with some of the guys over at fan tracks and we've got, you know, where they're going to be incorporating, you know, the auto sub feature this year. I think there's still some quirks to be 
figured out, but it'll be a nice feature to have this year. It's something that I've been kind of beating the drum over the last three or four years that I thought was sorely needed in college fantasy football with all the late break and injury news or, or non-injury news that we don't get because the, I can't count how many times you've got upset at some of the beat reporters because they like, do these guys even know what the hell's going on with their teams? Right. So uh, it's funny. It's, it, it's all in jest. It's all in good fun, but you know, it just goes to show the difficulty of it, you know, to find that really good, accurate injury information. So it is nice that fan tracks is incorporating that auto sub feature this year. So if a guy doesn't play, you can sub some guys out and that'll be something for you guys to get into with your leagues as you're setting it up. And I know Mike, you and I will probably play around with it a little bit and talk a little bit more about it uh, moving forward. Did, did, you know, it, did I leave anything out about the in season stuff, uh, you know, moving forward? I don't, I don't really want to tease every anything else until we kind of get everything taken care of in that regard. Uh, no, I think you covered it. I'm just glad that I won't get yelled at for Tavion Thomas, you know, the beat reporter saying in the entire warmups that Tavion Thomas is not practicing, not practicing, not practicing. We tell him to be safe and not play him. And then he ends up playing. So yes, the auto feature in fan tracks is going to be beautiful and I'll get yelled at less because of it. <laughs> so look, here's what we, here's what we're going to be doing. We did this last year. And we're going to do it again. Really, really good. Right. Uh, we're going to do some conference previews again. Uh, the, you know, the difficulty with that is trying to get them out in a time, get them recorded and get them out in a timely fashion before we start getting, you know, the last thing we want to do is do a show. And then all of a sudden, two or three guys that we focused on transfer. Right. So that's always the challenge. Getting the shows done. We'll probably do them by conference getting them uploaded into the site so people have a chance to really digest that. We're going to be working on best ball drafts throughout the summer. If we can get some best ball drafts for some of the members, uh, I know last year we created a channel in the Discord as well, and this was very valuable for a lot of guys where if, you know, a league recruitment channel, there's a lot of guys out there that like to play college fantasy football. They'd like to get into, uh, you, know, a, a, you know, multiple leagues, there's really no vehicle to go out and find that unless you're just kind of surfing through the, you know, the general league page on fan tracks. We have a recruitment channel. So if you're starting a league and you want to recruit guys into your league, we've got a chance. That's what the channel's for. If you're a guy that likes to play in multiple leagues and are and looking to play in another league, that's what the recruitment channel is for. So uh, really a chance for a lot of you guys to get more heavily involved with college fantasy football. And as always, uh, we'll have a DFS channel as well, uh, where Mike, you'll share a lot. Um, and, and so we're going to touch on all of that in, in the shows coming up. We're going to start off with the conference previews. Uh, we'll probably, we're going to have some shows coming up where we're going to have some of the guys that were in the best ball drafts uh, throughout the spring, throughout the summer. We'll do a rotation with those guys. Uh, throughout the spring and summer probably do three or four shows there and then you know last year we did kind of the industry influencers which are which are always fun it gives it gives some of our members a chance to see the faces behind the names that we talk about and recognize in some of our best ball drafts and 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 you know some of the names we reference in our preseason fantasy draft guide um, so you know that that really is what's coming up did, did I miss anything there no, we'll be, like I said, at the start, we'll be adding to the guide. I'll be working on depth charts. Uh, I, I have a couple ideas in mind, some advanced stats to add to the guide, uh, some a piece around the offensive line and the running game. So again, constantly churning out content that we can add to that guide. Um, and then I also wanted to mention another perk to joining in early. Uh, I'm hosting, uh, since February, I've been hosting some uh, best balls very good practice at, at a, a minor cost of five or ten dollars uh entry and it's draft good practice to uh you know set yourself up for success in your in your uh, upcoming real drafts uh, later in the summer and uh you know test your test your metal against uh some of the better players in in the space mike that's a good point because the best ball drafts for those that are watching and still haven't kind of dipped their toe into the into the best ball waters remember you know it's it's basically a draft that's going to happen now there's not going to be any transactions throughout the year. So what you're going to do is you're going to, they're going to be, you're going to draft an expanded roster and that's the roster that is going to, un, you know, going to play out the season. And you don't have to worry about making any acquisitions throughout the year. You just go in, check on your team throughout the year. Like you say, minimal cost, 
Uh, but it's really good practice for two reasons. One, to get people used to a best ball format if you haven't played. And two, gives you a really good idea of maybe where some players are going in regards to that. It gives you an idea on value on certain players. So yes, there is uh, some advantage of getting in early and getting into that discord because you yourself are hosting a, a lot of leagues as well, in addition to what we host on the site. And, you know, Mike, I have to say this was a very meat and potatoes, very boring show because you and I are probably going to butt heads a lot more as we move forward. So, you know, it, it's interesting as we get into some of the conference previews, uh, we're also going to reference a little bit of what we touched on in the guide. And, you know, I didn't really go into detail about it, but in the conference sections in the preseason fantasy draft guide, we basically took a look at the biggest questions at every school, every school throughout the FBS, right? And so you and I will probably be referencing some of that during some of our shows. And it'll be real interesting how sometimes I wish, you know, we talk about it. We wish we had a microphone and a camera on us when we're discussing some of these players and kind of building out the guide, because that itself uh, is worth, you know, worth some, uh, you know, it would be quite entertaining for some the way that we kind of go back and forth sometimes and, you know, see your point of view, my point of view and where we kind of meet in the middle, right. In regards to the fantasy guide, but for the, for the coming together, we still have some differences here and there. And really that's what the shows are going to get into. And that's the uniqueness of what we offer. You know, you, you've been doing this a long time myself as well. And we just have a really unique perspective different perspectives. We, we respect each other's decisions, respect each other's opinions. And um, it allows us to kind of see things from a different angle in which we didn't see it before. And I think it makes us, uh, each one of us better at looking at college fantasy football through more of a broader lens. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Can't wait to hear who your Emory Jones is this year. Ah, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> I'm setting a precedent in the, in the best ball drafts right now. So you're going to find out pretty soon, but look, man, that's it. Let's put a bow on this. The, uh, like I said, the preseason fantasy draft guide, the preseason player projections are all available on the site, ready to go live. Now we're going to try to have this up video up as soon as possible, but all the preseason preseason content is there. It's ready. It's up and it's still not finished. We're going to be adding stuff throughout the summer leading up all the way to the season. Mike, we've got a lot of good stuff coming, some shows to come, but that's going to do it, man. We just wanted to get behind the microphone, show everybody, look, we're back, man. We're officially back. We're going to start uploading a bunch of stuff on the site. The projections are there. The draft guide's there. And they're going to be seeing content and videos coming up over the next couple of weeks, man. So, you know, that's going to do it. We're going to put a bow on it. That's it for the first show of the season, short and sweet. But we'll be seeing you guys as we do the conference previews and also analyzing some best ball drafts. Those will be coming in the weeks ahead. We'll see you guys soon.